it's Holly with Ivy Cool Creations and today we are doing another follow a sketch February. Today is day five and this sketch was created by everythingaboutscrapbooking.com. So I didn't have paper that matched and I pulled this little kit out of my um, or off my shelf and I had all these papers in here because they color coordinated. Right, but I really liked this. Um, I really liked the picture of the bird on this ledger paper, and so I wanted to keep the bird. So I cut that piece out, and then I cut another piece out um, just to fill in the gaps. And I cut my big circle out of my 12 by 12 just by folding it into quarters and then cutting around that. Um, that's how, we, <laughs> actually, that's how you make a circle skirt <laughs> when, um, when, when sewing. So that's how I knew how to do that. Um, but so there's a little sewing tip for you. Uh, but also my paper, that red orange paper is very thin. It's, you know, and so is this ledger paper. It's very thin. Um, so it was easy to fold and, uh, maneuver. But I really like the really big circle. It kind of, it well, A, it makes them, it makes both pages match, obviously, because it has a, it has the same thing happening on both sides. But um, I just love the colors. I love the emerald green with this beautiful red orange. And this is a color that I've been playing with a lot, but it also shows up in the robin on the photo and in the flowers on the other side of the page. So I was super happy that this um, little kit that I made turned out um, to work so well. So I know that the title is up in the top left hand corner and I wanted that bird. <laughs> I wanted the bird. I did everything to make this layout work um, to have the bird on it. So I fussy cut it out of the layers of paper that it was on and then I created my own layers around it. And I, I love how it turned out. And I was just kind of piecing things together. I wasn't really um, like thinking about what exactly I wanted on there. I just kind of went with what was looking good. And so I played up the orange and the white just because the background paper was that gorgeous green. And then there was a piece of the, um, there was a piece of the music paper still on that layer. And so I really wanted that to be on the page as well. I chose the title Fantastic Moments um, because that was what was in front of me and I wanted to use it up. <laughs> my goal is to use my stash. I also have um, these 49 in Market Ephemera pack from, from the Alina collection and the colors matched absolutely perfectly. So I just found a couple things like flower and um, maybe a, a phrase or two, but I I loved, I love the Alina. I made a little cluster down in the corner and I had um, the word celebrate and the word something. And so I put them together and then I used my little tiny stamps to make the word two. So it says something to celebrate. And these are just pictures of my kids fourth year birthday party. So I added some enamel dots and that's about it. Um, please don't forget to check out the description box below for everyone who's playing along with the follow a sketch February and like, comment and subscribe. I would love to hear from you. Thank you so much for the new subscribers that I have. I am so grateful to you. It's so much fun um, having more people to be a part of this community. And uh, thank you so much for your time today.